we study this species of fish called the bluehead chub. It's a minnow, probably like six, seven inches long on average. And they're this really important species in local waters because they build nests out of pebbles. So they'll actually pick up rocks with their mouth and then pile up thousands of these rocks in order to lay their eggs on them. And they're really important because other species of fish also depend on those nests as well. So other fish will come in droves. So the chub's actually holding up a lot of these different species just by building a nest all by itself. Low is 0 0.07. We've been collecting a lot of different data about these nests, anything from the shape, their size. We've been collecting what kind of sediment runs through them, number of associates, how active they are, whether a host is present, lots of different factors that are contributing to how a nest is functioning. My project is mainly looking at how these fish sort of respond to different changes in its environment. So why do they put their nests where they decide to put them? And what happens if you're in an environment where floods are really common or where floods are not as common as maybe in other places? I'm studying on four different streams and they all vary in flood frequency and flood size and flood duration, things like that. And this stream particularly is the one that has the least frequent floods and that they are um, lower in magnitude overall compared to other places like Struble's Creek, which is found in Blacksburg. And that stream has a lot of really frequent high floods and that could really cause damage to chub nests. Weather conditions and stream patterns greatly affect whether they're going to be active when they stop, when they continue and how all that interfaces with their reproductive behavior. What I've done before this part of the project is looking at what factors contribute to chubs abandoning their nest. We don't really know how it responds to environmental change quite yet, particularly environmental change caused by humans. I think that's the biggest drive for me is to figure out what we are doing to impact fish of all kinds, but specifically this really cool one.